Pokemon sets from the year 2023. It's the end of the year and we're going to be taking a look at all the Pokemon sets, the main Pokemon sets from the Scarlet and Violet era, and ask the question, which set was the best and which was the worst set from the year 2023? Welcome back to the channel guys, this is VMAT. If you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing and joining in all the fun we have here. Today we're going to be making a tier list on tiermaker.com and comparing all the Pokemon releases from this year. We're going to be taking a look at just the Scarlet and Violet stuff, including obviously Crown Zenith, which came out earliest in the year. And we're going to put them on a tier list to see whether or not you guys agree with me in the comment section. And if you guys want to make your own tier list, go ahead to tiermaker.com and make your own list. I'd love for you guys to share what you think the best and worst sets ranked were of the year. Okay, with that being said, let's make this tier list. Oh boy, I'm a little bit nervous because you know, obviously expressing opinions on the internet, you're going to have some people who agree, some people disagree, some people might be a little more heated than others, but why don't we take a look at all of the lists right here. Crown Zenith, Haldae Evolved, Obsidian Flames, and 151. Why don't we start off with the uh, oldest, which is Crown Zenith. It was an interesting set. It was one of the sets that didn't actually have a real booster box, same as Scarlet and Violet 151. We only had the three sets that had booster boxes this year, and that's Scarlet and Violet, Haldae Evolved and Obsidian Flames. Now, what is your favorite? Let me know down below in the comment section. Let's start off with Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith was interesting. Uh, I don't like the way it was released where it was just kind of like trickled out throughout the year uh, over like a span of like six or seven months. I would have preferred if it was just released all at once, but hey, that's just my opinion. Doesn't mean that the cards in the set weren't good and it doesn't mean that the set itself wasn't good. I actually think it was a great set. I really love the Galarian Gallery. I think it had crazy good pull rates compared to uh, a lot of the stuff from the Sword and Shield era, that's for sure. And honestly, those gold Galarian Gallery cards are stunning and I'm still in shock at how cheap they are today. I think they should be worth a little bit more, but again, the set, it's uh, still in print. It's not even like a year old yet, so it still has time to age for sure. So Crown Zenith, hmm, it's not poop. I don't think it's God tier either. Uh, I don't know. Where are we going to put this? We have five here. We're going to try to put them all on separate tiers. Where am I going to put Crown Zenith? Oh, I don't know. It's not the worst set of the year, in my opinion, but it's not the best. I'm going to have to put this one... Mm, I'm going to put it B. Honestly, it's a great set. It's fantastic. You also can get Charizard in that set, the V-Star. Uh, obviously, the Galarian Gallery is amazing, so the pull rates, everything, I'm going to put it at B. Now let's take a look at the next set, which is the regular Scarlet and Violet, the base set Scarlet and Violet set. Now honestly, I didn't really enjoy this set. I have to say, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me in the comment section here. Um, I may even get some heat for this, but honestly, I believe Scarlet and Violet, the base set, it was the worst set of the year, in my opinion. Now, I may be wrong, and it's my personal opinion, and everyone is allowed to have an opinion, even if you think it's wrong. I'm gonna have to put this one in, in the poop tier. I just did not enjoy it too much. Um, didn't have a lot of the old 151 Pokemon that I really enjoyed growing up with, so it, it's not for my generation. It's for the newer generation. It's, you know, to go along attached with the, the uh, Switch game and stuff, so it's good. I, I think it's a good set. Overall, this year, 2023, I think it was a great set. Every set had good pull rates, and I think that this is just the worst of the five, that's all. Next up is Palde Evolved, a very underrated set. I think this set is far better than the regular Scarlet and Violet set. I think it has great pull rates, it has fantastic artwork, and the value itself is fantastic. If, if it, When it comes to EV, if you wanted to crack open any Palde Evolved, product, you're probably going to do okay EV-wise compared to any of the other sets. Maybe Scarlet and Violet, there's a bit of a swings and misses with that set, but that's also another one that I think is uh, deserving of uh, being mentioned when it comes to uh, good EV and pull rates. So I'm going to have to put Scarlet and Violet, Palde Evolved, that's an A. That's an A. Let's, let's, that's round of applause here for Palde Evolved. Fantastic set. Now we're going to go with Obsidian Flames. Now this is a set... As you guys can see, there's two tiers that I have to fill right now. Honestly, I was a little bit disappointed in this set from a personal standpoint. I didn't have really good luck with pulling anything in the set. I didn't even pull a single Charizard from this set, believe it or not. I did not have good luck at all with Obsidian Flames. It's just, it was one of those sets that 
you went into it hoping to pull the Charizard, and if you didn't pull the Charizard, it was kind of a whiff. It was very Charizard or bust, and because of that, and because of the artwork, I wasn't a big fan of the artwork compared to Paldea Evolved and even Scarlet and Violet, to be honest. I'm gonna have to put this one at the C tier, and now, Everyone in the comment section saying, well, duh, geez, obviously Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 151 was the best Pokemon set of the year, 2023, and of course it was. Let's be honest, this set was an absolute banger. From the pull rates, the artwork, from the, the Pokemon itself in the set, everything about it was a home run, and honestly, probably a set that would get a lot of people back into Pokemon, and that's what Scarlet and Violet, I believe, did overall, and it was just a great set. I know a ton of people who don't even like Pokemon now, and they still got a few packs just to open up because they love the original 151 Pokemon and want to see if they can pull it. And honestly, great set, fantastic. I love the SARs in here. I love the EXs. Everything about the set was just a home run and that is why I am putting Scarlet and Violet 151 into the God tier category. Now, do you agree with me? This is the this is the fun part. It's gonna be the comment section below because I would love to hear your opinions about where you think these Pokemon set rank and do you agree with my assessment here? Do you think that 151 is God tier? Do you believe that Scarlet and Violet is poop tier? I'd love to know your thoughts about that down below in the comment section. And with that being said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really hoping to get monetized at some point in the near future. I've got the 1,000 subscribers done, but honestly, I'm still waiting for those watch hours. So I would really appreciate it if you shared this video and also hit that like button. It does help me out, gets these videos out in the algorithm. And with that being said, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.